Welcome back guys, it's the tight wide and I have another project in my lawn. I'm replacing a retainer wall. The previous material was this, landscaping timbers, the little, I think they're called three by four landscaping timbers. And I actually got them used uh, from a retainer wall that was being torn down and I was short on cash at the time and about to have a baby. So we used these to build our retainer walls and they are rotting after about five years. We're going to replace this also but i wanted you to see what we started with so it's the same process up there as we have down here but this one's in better shape than the one up there is these are the remnants of the landscape timbers that i removed so this is the old wall you can see i used rebar to hold it in place there were some landscape timber spikes in them and all in all they just rotted decomposed over time and i ripped them all out and we're going to replace it's not really load bearing uh, but you can see where the wall used to be. I have recovered as much gravel as possible from the previous retainer wall. And I will be replacing it with 2x10 supported by 2x6s and um, some 2x10x8s and 2x10x12s here uh, for the various lengths that I have. And I'm going to show you guys the best way to do this. This is ground contact rated lumber meaning it's not just pressure treated, but it is rated for ground contact so it can be directly against the dirt. And they say it lasts up to 30 years. Uh, I give it more like 10 years, but it does work a lot better than what you would typically build your deck with. So um, I'm gonna show you guys the process that I'm gonna go through. It is not exactly what a contractor would do. Um, they would probably use six by sixes on this area, but the price difference was about $300. So I'm gonna do it with two by 10 since it's non-load bearing. Uh, well, semi-load, non-load bearing, and I will show you my process. All right, I'd like to explain the progress so far. I have three foot tall, two by sixes and two by fours. Uh, this is the corner, so it's joined at a right angle and put in with screws here. These are coated screws uh, made for decking so they can uh, handle the treatment that has been done to the treated wood, the ground contact treated wood, because they have a coating on them. Um, I actually found them for 50% off at Home Depot because they were green instead of brown and they switched to brown. Uh, but I have two by sixes, two by fours, and two by eights here. And these are sunk into the ground 16 inches with gravel uh, packing them in. This one's not fully filled yet, but it will be. And then I have the two by eight screwed to the back of these boards. And I'm gonna move down and show you the next section. So the next section is a two by six and a two by four. On this one, I cut the two by four at an angle and the same with the two by eights. I have this two by four running on the top of this so I can show you the progression. So right here I have my level, four foot level, laying across a board that I know is straight, making sure that that post and this post are the same height. This is the same process I did on the other end. I then take a shorter level, a little two foot level, and I make sure that the boards and the ground are level up and down in uh, both directions. Uh, you can use a torpedo level if you have one. I don't have one of those um, right handy so that I'm just using my two foot level and these boards are long enough that it doesn't make uh, any difference. And I've got this one already packed in and ready to go. We'll go ahead and move down to the next one. This will again be a corner. You can see I just have the two by six loose here. I will attach a two by four to it after cutting an angle like I did on the other end. It was a 70 degree angle. And I will sink those two down in here and make sure that they're level with the other posts. And then on the corner, I'll have another two by six and two by four joined at a 90 degree angle. Uh, one thing that you'll note is that in the trough where the boards are sitting, there's gravel all the way down. There was actually gravel behind the existing retainer wall. You can see it's still embedded in the walls here. And as that spilled out, I collected as much as I could in buckets and on this tarp, because I will then backfill the wall with this once I'm done. Uh, I'm probably gonna have to get some more gravel to backfill the wall. But having gravel between the dirt and the wall helps prevent moisture from sitting on the back of the wall. So you see there's a cavity on the back of this wall that'll be filled in with gravel. It has landscape fabric to keep the dirt or soil from 
coming through into the gravel keeps the gravel nice and clean and the gravel drains well so it drains down behind the wall and under the wall instead of getting trapped behind it and causing rot all right i'm finished with the wall and you can see that i ended up adding some extra boards here they're not braces uh, into the ground but they're braces to hold the two boards from bulging out or separating and I also added a deck board across the top it's just a six inch deck board all the way down in case we want to come out and sit on it i'll get new pine straw spread in a couple of weeks to get ready for spring and i think it turned out really well um, this is not going to be a how-to video just a here's what i did video i'm not a professional in this uh, cut some corners on a couple of things you can critique if you want but just know that this is not considered a how-to video but i think the end result looks pretty nice if you like this video give me a thumbs up if you have any questions about anything i did uh, feel free to leave them in the comments section below please subscribe to my channel as i do more home projects around my home and i hope you guys have a great day